Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication Ferrosol, known generically as ferrous sulfate. As always, this content is for educational purposes. For specific health-related questions or concerns, please consult a medical professional. Description Ferrosol, or ferrous sulfate, is an oral medication primarily used to treat or prevent iron deficiency anemia. It helps replenish iron stores in the body, which are vital for producing healthy red blood cells that carry oxygen. Typically, it's prescribed when diet alone cannot sufficiently increase iron levels, such as in cases of anemia or during pregnancy. This medication is available in various forms, including tablets, capsules, and liquid, allowing for flexibility in how it can be administered based on individual needs and tolerances. Warnings Ferrosol should be used with caution. It is not suitable for individuals with certain types of anemia not related to iron deficiency, such as hemolytic anemia or anemia caused by vitamin B12 deficiency. Additionally, care should be taken in patients with conditions that can be exacerbated by increased iron intake, such as hemochromatosis, hemosiderosis, or other iron overload syndromes. Before taking this medicine Before starting Ferrosol, discuss your complete medical history with your healthcare provider, particularly if you have a history of gastrointestinal issues like ulcers or inflammatory bowel disease, as iron supplements can aggravate these conditions. Inform your doctor if you have liver disease, as excess iron can lead to further liver damage. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should consult their healthcare provider to ensure the appropriate dosage and to discuss any potential risks. Regular monitoring of iron levels is recommended to avoid iron overload. Side Effects while ferrosol is essential for treating iron deficiency, it may cause side effects such as stomach upset, constipation, or diarrhea. These can often be minimized by taking the medication with food. More severe side effects include allergic reactions like rash, itching, or breathing difficulties. Black or dark-colored stools are a common but harmless effect of iron supplements. However, if you experience severe or persistent abdominal pain, vomiting, or signs of gastrointestinal bleeding, such as coffee ground vomitus or blood in the stool, seek medical attention immediately. Interactions Ferrosol can interact with other medications, reducing their effectiveness or increasing side effects. It's particularly known to interact with antacids, certain antibiotics, and medications used for osteoporosis. Always inform your healthcare provider about all other medications, supplements, and herbal products you are taking. Dosage The appropriate dosage of ferrosol varies depending on the age, medical condition, and response to treatment. For adults with iron deficiency anemia, the typical dose is 325 mg, 65 mg elemental iron, orally 2 to 3 times a day. Your healthcare provider will direct you on how to take this medication effectively, potentially adjusting the dose based on your iron levels and response to treatment. Always follow the prescription label and consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your dosage. Avoid To avoid potential side effects or interactions, take ferrosol on an empty stomach if possible, or with food if stomach upset occurs. Avoid taking it with dairy products, caffeine, or antacids, as these can decrease iron absorption. Additionally, alcohol can exacerbate side effects like stomach upset and should be limited. FAQ Many people ask if ferrosol can be taken by children. Ferrosol is safe for children at doses appropriate for their age and iron requirements, as determined by a healthcare provider. Consult a pediatrician before starting any new medication for your child. Closing Thank you for joining us to learn about ferrosol. Remember, the information provided here is for educational purposes only and not a substitute for professional medical advice. If you have any questions or need advice on managing iron deficiency, please consult your healthcare provider.